Hello and thanks very much for joining me. I'm Dean the Vaping Biker. Today we're going to be looking at another Watofo product that you've probably seen a lot of already. There's a heck of a lot of reviews out there for this one. But uh, let's have my take for a change on the, because I'm that narcissistic, you need to hear me. <laughs> uh, let's have a little look at the Vaporous RDA from Watofo, shall we? Let's go for a little up close tour around this little 24mm RDA. Come on then. And here we have the vaporous boxing. You can see that we've got these uh, warnings going on these days. And it's a thing because, yes, we know it doesn't actually have nicotine in until you put some in it. But there you go. Shit happens. Um, we've got a barcode going on on that side. We've got some Safata and what have you. Advocacy business on that side. Kassar as well, which is great. And then on the back there, we do have a little bit of information showing what everything contains. And a few warnings and stuff in there as well. Now at the bottom, we do have a scratch and sniff and also an indicator to tell us what color the RDA is that we've got inside this box. Now I've taken the RDA out already because obviously I use it a lot. Um, the, uh, the the packaging that you get with these, I do like the way they're doing this at the moment with regards to showing pictures on how stuff happens. Um, I think that's a nice kind of concise way of, uh, of getting the details across, which I do like. So well done Matofo for that. Um, inside the box you also get this giveaway thing. This used to be the little t-shirt card, but uh, this is what you get there, as well as some more advocacy information on the back there, mainly predominant if you're in the States. Inside the box, obviously, you have the RDA situated here, and there is a little um, adapter for the drip tip, which we'll look at in a moment. And then underneath there, you do get your normal stuff that you get with Tofo products these days, showing um, or with, where you get extra coils and all that sort of gubbins as well. So um, you have got spares, and they're uh, pretty much what we're used to seeing elsewhere. Now then. This is the RDA itself, a nice kind of straightforward symbol on the front there, which I think looks quite cool. And then otherwise, it's fairly straightforward and simple. Nothing else going on the back there. Obviously, we've got the drip tip, which we'll look at in a moment. And then underneath there, you do see that it does say the Vaporous and then Watofo underneath. You've got your gold plated 510 there, which is protruding a solid amount um, for use on a hybrid, at least with this one anyway. Uh, but I would, as always, say that you should check your own before you use anything on a hybrid. Uh, there you do have the negative screw which we will come back to in a moment. Now then taking this apart if we take the drip tip out this is a really really wide bore drip tip and uh, you know that might, might not be for everybody. Now you don't have an ability to uh, change this down to a 510 however by popping this other little one in here like so you've then got an 810 which is your goon size and all that sort of good stuff. So if I I try a DHD drip tip in here um, then that fits in there just fine and dandy so that's uh, that's a winner now then when it comes to the airflow control now you've got you can see that you've got a kind of showing you've got some of the airflow controlling now if I turn that all the way around you can see that we don't have anything showing at that point now pretty much hang on if I turn it back a little bit there we go. You've got nothing showing in there at all. So that's just big gaping holes. Now, the thing that they've done on here, which I think is a bit strange. I've just, I have had to juice this up again. So it's uh, it's easy to move it back because it is very, very snug with those two O-rings. Um, but you've got this size hole and you've got this size hole. So this size is nothing showing inside the barrel there. And then this size is supposed to be taking it down a little bit. But they missed a trick because this doesn't really achieve a great deal. Um, because you can obviously close this one down if you want to. Um, but by doing that, they've made it impossible to have a single coil. So that's a little bit of a shame because I think a single coil would be nice in this as well. Um, and uh, yeah, so I think they've missed a trick there. So I don't really understand why they've done that one. But inside this section, if we push the, uh, the deck out... We've just got the barrel itself, and the barrel is fairly straightforward. Uh, you've just got a couple of little ledges there for where it sits, and you've got one at the base there because um, when you look at the deck, there is no base of the deck for it to sit on top of. So actually, the top of this deck should rest somewhat inside that uh, on on that ledge right there. Now you'll see that I have got maybe you can see if I go if you can look straight through there. 
that there is a small amount of paint wear that's gone on in the inside there but nothing nothing drastic i've certainly used much worse from Matofo, and i haven't seen any more coming off as yet mind you i have not put this in an ultrasonic cleaner um, because i learned a long time ago putting uh, putting colored bits and bobs into an ultrasonic isn't always your best idea but uh, no otherwise the paintwork hasn't been too bad at all Looking at the deck now, uh, you can see that with this post situation, um, you've got some uh, nice solid posts going all the way through. This is your positive, this is your negative. And when it comes to this negative deck, there has been a bit of discussion about it being wobbly. Now, if I, if I try and really force this, there is a tiny, tiny amount of movement in there. You can see that that's not overly lined up there, but it is only a small amount of movement. Um, but if we take this apart from the base and unscrew that like so, you'll notice that you do have a square post there or a square sort of seating area there. So when your post goes in, it can't overspin. Um, however, their machining isn't the best on here because there is a little bit of movement side to side when you're putting it in this way, which means you do have to tighten it up like a good one when you do put this, um, this all back together again. Now, if you make sure that that's that negative post is tight, then there's no movement there. That's that's not doing anything. So you know that's a, it's a thing. <laughs> there you go. Now then, when it comes to the posts themselves, obviously you do have the clamps going up at the sides. Um, there is a small chamfer there which will help you push your uh, push your leads into them. But it's certainly not the uh, the deepest chamfer in the world. But you can still get your leads in there if you so wish. Now obviously these screws do two jobs. They both flatten the uh, clamp and they also clamp down into these ones down the bottom here so if you do put particularly large wires in the bottom there there's the potential for the uh, for the for the clamp section to move around a little bit if you've not um, if you've sort of captured all of your wires down in the uh, in the holes rather than using any of the clamps like so then then that would that would move about a little bit which is a bit of a shame however when you're using a velocity style build, so you have one leg going up under the clamp and another leg coming down into that deeper hole there, then uh, it seems to work perfectly fine. Um, as long as you, you know, just be careful and make sure that you are fully contacted, I guess, or you have full contact underneath both this and this, then you're all good and gravy. Sometimes it needs just a little bit of alternating between which ones of these you tighten first, but, uh, but you can keep an eye on that by trying to keep this clamp section flat at all times otherwise it's dead easy to build on you can pop your builds in between going from that hole and that hole that hole and that hole you can go super wide if you want if you've got a big series coil you can use just the clamps so you do have a variety of different build options that you can stick in there if you so wish and that's about it so what we'll do is we will stick a build in here and then we'll go up top and have a vape So that was the tour around the Vaporous RDA. Now I have popped a couple of coils in there from Coilology. Um, I got these a load of these sent to me from uh, Evolution Vaping. Yes, evolutionvaping.co.uk in the UK today. And uh, so I thought I'd throw a pair of these in there as well. And they're uh, they're not going too badly at all. But uh, before anything else, uh, let's have a little toot, shall we? Now that is with the smaller of the type of airflow holes that I showed you on that inner top cap um, open. Now if I open them up so I have the big holes going, uh, let's have a little go on that one as well. So you've got plenty of options for clouds and obviously coil placement is going to play a very strict role into how loud this RDA is. However, it does a pretty fine job when it comes to uh, when it comes to your sort of cloud production and your air in and uh, and what you can chuck out of it, which is great. Now then, they do say that the uh, the 810 size drip tip adapter is supposed to get kind of help you with the flavor, but they don't provide you with an 810 size drip tip, which I think is a little bit of an oversight but having said that in this day and age a lot of us do have those goon size uh, drip tips kicking around in the collection um, however it would have been nice to see that extra tip so you've got the adapter but a tip you can use in it so if you don't have the spare then you can stick one in that would have been good to see now then 
As I said in the up close, it is a little bit of a shame that we don't have a single coil option for this because I think people will want that sort of single coil action going on. Do I think, going back to the drip tip just for a moment, do I think there's a need for this extra wide one? Not really. Not really, in all honesty. I don't think it's absolutely necessary. It's just a big honk and great big drip tip that you can use if you really, really want to. But um, but no, going back to that airflow, I know I'm chopping and changing. It's the way my brain's going today. But going back to that airflow, yeah, I mean, the lack of single coil could be considered a negative. And I think rather than having just the holes, then maybe having some kind of sort of slice on one side of it so you can have fully open or you can trim it down um, at, a, at an angle would have given you the same effect while still allowing you to have a single coil hole if you really wanted it. So, yeah, I mean, I think I don't think the design on that is, is as good as we've seen from Watofo in the past. Now then, building it is super easy. It's dead easy to do it like I say I mean the, the coils that I've got in here at the moment are pretty chunky staggered fused jobs which um, weren't any any kind of problem getting in there you do just have to make sure that you are in there good and solid so you've got a good connection on both the top and the bottom legs um, but that's not a problem I found I found it's been pretty simple to build now like we've said before um, the there there have been people say about the loose negative post. I've not had any loose issues with this. It's not caused my resistance to jump. It's not caused anything like that. As long as they're both both the 510 and that negative um, screw, just check those when you get hold of them. Make sure they're done up nice and tight. And as long as they're tight, then you shouldn't have an issue. The negative post certainly can't spin kind of to to do anything untoward. So that's absolutely fine. And it's obviously not going to fall out or anything. So that's good. Um, um, so all in all, I mean, price wise, I've had a quick Google and Vape Geek in the UK have them at $23.99 and looking over in sort of America and all that sort of stuff, um, looking, hang, hang on, hang on, hang on, here we go. With Tofo are selling them for $34.99, but um, I mean, obviously you've got your cheap China sites that are doing them even cheaper, um, but Vape Wild in the US seems to do it for $21.95, um, Heaven Gifts $29. 99 um, so yeah I mean they're gonna be around that kind of 25 to 35 mark depending on where you are in the world and which shops you like to go with now um, do I think it's worth the money I think it's tough at the moment we do brilliantly have a great amount of RDAs that we can choose from in that price bracket and so we've got the things coming out from a tofo geek vape uh, or vape geek rather now um, uh, Vape Geek? Yes, it is Vape Geek, isn't it? No, Geek Vape. <laughs> we get them coming out from uh, Watofo, Geek Vape. Um, we get them coming out from um, Vandy Vape and all that sort of stuff, Coil Art, with all a lot of very, very affordable RDAs, which is brilliant because it neglects it negates the, the requirement to go and get clones as much these days, which I think is really, really good. It's great to get this affordable gear out there. I think they look great. I think they perform pretty well. I think the flavor is okay. It's not it's not mind-blowing flavor, to be honest with you, but, you know, if you're going at it to get some honk and big old coils in there so you can chuck clouds, then that may not be your first priority it's certainly not terrible and it's obviously going to be very dependent on how much airflow you're allowing in the type of coils and the type of power you're putting through it um, but all in all it's not a bad RDA it's not a bad it's not my favorite from Watofo but it's not a bad one and uh, I think that's pretty much all I can say about this one it's going to be down to you whether you like the look of it and whether you think it it uh, is going to do what you need it to do depending on your particular vape style for me it's not in my regular rotation but uh, it's certainly something that I can see a lot of people can enjoy so that's about it thank you very much for watching if anyone is interested by the way it is on top of the Wyvern 2 Three five or two three two three five from Lassimer at the moment. Uh, review on that one if it's not out already. Will be coming out very very shortly. But uh, no, that's it. Thank you very much for watching. I'll pop a subscriber button down here and I will pop a video up there and up there. Uh, please hit the like and subscribe if you so wish and stick a comment down below. A bit larger.